Hi guys, welcome back to the homestead. Tonight I want to do a really uh, quick meal again with you. Uh, it's one of my family favorites. It's uh, chicken chimichangas. So come on, let's get started. Okay guys, so right now I have the chicken breast on and we're going to boil that until it gets tender so that way I can shred it. And this is what it looks like. We're going to boil this, like I say, for probably about 20 minutes or so until we can get it nice and soft so that way it's easily to pull apart. And when we get to the next step, I'll come back. Okay, guys, so we have our chicken um, already shredded. And I have some bell peppers here that um, I put up in the freezer. And we're going to have this and i cut up an onion so we're going to stir fry the onions and the bell peppers together with some butter until they're soft And guys, this is really good um, to freeze them. Uh, they're good to cook with. You couldn't eat them raw or anything like that. Um, but we had some bell peppers left over from the produce stand. And uh, instead of throwing them away, I cut them up and put them in freezer bags. Okay, as you can see, we have our bell peppers, our onions, and our butter in the pan, and we're going to cook this until they get tender. Make sure you keep your juice from your chicken when you boil it, so that way when you add your chicken, your bell peppers, and onions together with your chipotle peppers right here, you're going to need a little bit of that juice instead of adding the plain water, you know, you'll have your flavor already. So, and these are the peppers that I use. I'm hoping at some point when we get our homestead established and we start growing our vegetables and uh, we'll be growing some of these peppers so we can make this ourselves. These peppers right here are really good. Uh, they do have a little bit of heat to them. Uh, this one has the whole peppers uh, in, uh, in this container. Now my husband enjoys eating those with his meal. So what we're going to do with this once our peppers and our onions get tender and we add our chicken, we'll be taking the juice from this and adding this to our chicken, bell peppers and onions. Okay guys, so our onions and bell peppers are pretty soft and just about right. And what we're going to do now, we're going to add our chicken. Now we're going to be adding our chipotle peppers. As I said before, these have whole peppers in them, so I will take those out. You're going to add the rest. If they have little small pieces, you just can add it into your mixture. <clears throat> we like hot stuff, but I don't want to get it too hot. If you like hotter, you can uh, buy the peppers, uh, bigger cans, and you also can buy it without the peppers 
um, in it. And it just has the uh, juice. Like I said, my husband likes to eat these little peppers, so I pull them out, and he eats what he wants with his meals. We just keep them in the fridge. And the juice of the chicken that we boiled, we're going to add a little bit. About a half of a can. We're going to pour it in here. And we're going to mix it. Okay, whenever you look at this, the meat's not really red, so what I'm going to do, we also buy this, and this is what I was talking about, and this is just the, the sauce itself. It doesn't have the peppers, or they're ground up, so we're going to take a little bit of this. Okay, so we're just going to add a little bit of this. So now the more that you put of this, the hotter it's going to get, of course. So just depending on how you like it, will determine on how much of the chipotle peppers you'll use. Now if my mom was here, I would never be able to use this much. She loves these, but she doesn't like hot food. But she's not here, so we're going to make it a little bit hotter this time. Okay, so let that cook just for a few minutes, and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, guys, so we have our flour tortillas, and you can use whatever you want. That's what we use. And we're going to place some of the mixture... And each tortilla. And just roll them up. We'll do a couple more of these. Just to show you. And guys, you know, you can make, I mean, oh, a large batch of these at one time. You know, it is a kind of time consuming, but it makes for a really great snack. Even if it's in the refrigerator, once it's cooled down, I mean, they just taste really, really good. Straight out of the fridge. I'm going to finish rolling these up, and I'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, guys, so I got 10, which is plenty for us, and I got my all good and hot. So you want to put these in your oil, fold it down.
I'm just going to do three at a time. Okay, you want to make sure, just keep eye on them. You don't want them to burn just lightly brown. So you flip them. So you get them all nice and brown all the way around. I'm going to add one more in here. Okay, so they got some brown to them, so I'm going to go ahead and pull these up. Let them drain on the paper towel. Add some more. Okay guys, whenever I get these done, um, I'll come back and I'll show you how we garnish these. Okay guys, so I got everything plated up and we added lettuce, sour cream, mozzarella cheese, and salsa. And this is what's for supper. If you try this, please leave in the comments below how you like it. It is a great recipe. And I promise you, you won't regret it. See you next time.